Hello, my name is Andrew Livengood. I'm the principal at Pine Hollow Middle School. Our teachers are here on a Saturday, taking time out of their schedules to begin the hard work of laying the foundation at Pine Hollow Middle School. They are gonna be talking about the four C's, which of course are collaboration, communication, creativity, and critical thinking. This is our teacher's first opportunity to get inside the building, and they are really, really excited to see things take off at Pine Hollow Middle School. Hi, my name is Julie Stern, and I'm going to be the instructional resource teacher and reading intervention teacher here at Pine Hollow Middle School. Um, I'm coming from a school that uh, is a STEM school where we used a lot of project-based learning, and we had students collaborate and use creativity and critical thinking. And what I'm really excited about is at Pine Hollow Middle School, we have the furniture that will help students be creative with each other and collaborate with each other, but we also have different type of instructional tools that will allow students to be creative and critically think with each other. So I'm really excited to be coming to Pine Hollow Middle School and starting off a great first year. I am Kim Price. I am the AIG teacher at Pine Hollow Middle School. Um, AIG stands for Academically or Intellectually Gifted Students. Uh, these students are in the normal classroom, math and uh, language arts. At times, I pull them out um, uh, or I push into the classroom and I assist them with developing uh, greater skills in the areas of math and reading. For example, the all of the AIG students in eighth grade on the EOG must understand slope. And so in order to make slope really uh, real world and really mean a great deal to them, one of the things that we did this year is we created roller coasters. Now, we created roller coasters out of the pipe, insulation, and marbles. They were amazing. Uh, the children could discuss and share with you exactly um, how the slope was changing, if it was a negative slope or a positive slope. Um, it was so much fun. Hey guys, my name is Dustin Hoke. I'm the new band director here at Pine Hollow Middle School. I'm coming from Morganton, North Carolina. If you don't know where that's at, it's located near the mountains of North Carolina. I taught there for three and a half years at Liberty Middle School, and now I'm proud to be a Pine Hollow pilot. Things here are quickly wrapping up. This is our fantastic new auditorium here at Pine Hollow Middle School. It's gonna seat roughly 350 people. But just kind of tell you about the band program and what we're going to offer arts-wise here at Pine Hollow. It's going to be a fun learning opportunity for you and your child. They're going to experience new things, have fun times doing this, that, whatever it may be. Getting their hands in new materials that they never thought they could and just taking off to the skies. Hi, I'm Mike Hutchinson. I'm a sixth grade teacher here at the new Pine Hollow Middle School. I'll be teaching on track four. When track four finally comes in in August time, we won't be here right away as the school starts, but we're sitting here in one of the new classrooms just now starting to get furniture. And I just wanted to talk about my excitement for this school and our new opening and our new experience in a new four C's school here in Wake County. So one of the interesting things about the new year round or this new year around school is that its furniture is much much more different than other schools. We have movable chairs. We have these kind of strange moving chairs that are here. We have desks that you can write on, tables as opposed to regular classroom desks. And so what is exciting for me is this opportunity to rethink the school's classroom and how a classroom looks. I see this as a space where rather than being in rows or in groups and having assigned seats every single day, that this is an opportunity for me to kind of rethink how a classroom looks and flexing our spaces where sometimes students are sitting in one space, maybe on these funny little chairs and having conversations. Maybe they're sitting at a desk like this, which actually is a right upon desk, so they're actually having conversation around a desk. Sometimes they might be standing, sometimes they might be moving out into hallway spaces, but just really rethinking the way that a traditional classroom looks is one of the things I'm really excited about, about looking and being part of this new Pine Hollow community. Hello, my name is Dominique Newkirk. I am a language arts teacher here at Pine Hollow Middle School. I am very excited to be here. 
Language arts is one of my passions. Um, I love getting in a new cohort of kids every year because it seems in every group I have at least a couple of students that believe that they hate reading or they're not good at reading. And I love showing them that it's not that you hate reading. You may hate reading certain things, but there is something that you will definitely enjoy reading. Um, I love to think out of the box. I love to bring in stories from different places of the world, different topics, just anything that I can find that may grasp the interest of a student. Hi, I'm Kristen Ziller. I'm the Library Media Specialist here at Pine Hollow Middle School, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our Library Learning Commons today. Um, you'll see when you come into the school, the Library Learning Commons is right here, right at the front entrance of the school. Um, so you can see right in. Um, you can see right now there's a group of teachers who are planning things for the new school year, and it's a very collaborative, open space that has various seating areas, and a lot of the furniture is going to be on wheels, so that we can have whole class instruction as well as small group and really diversify the space for whatever is needed, whether students are coming in and working with language arts teachers to find great independent reading materials um, and maybe splitting up into their little literature circles or if they're coming into research maybe as a whole big group and they need to access our wonderful brand new print resources um, and a lot of digital online resources as well um, to maybe enhance their learning in science or in social studies if they're learning about a specific historical event. So um, students at Pine Hollow are going to visit the library learning commons very often um, for very various needs throughout all of their different subjects in school. So as you can see, the teachers and the staff at Pine Hollow Middle School are super excited to take off. We've got a wonderfully talented staff and we cannot wait. Our first day of school for tracks one, two, and three is going to be on Monday, July 11th. The first day for track four will be Monday, August 1. And truly, at Pine Hollow Middle School, the sky is the limit.